topic. Oh, man, because comedian Lavelle was on. Lavelle Crawford was on Club Shay Shay, right? And funny. I only seen like half of it so far, but funny. This sucker here. <laughs> he just talked funny, man. And he's funny and he talks funny. That's just too much. I crack up every time. Shannon was dying laughing too. But he brought up the fact that Mike Epps called Shannon Sharp gay. And it ain't about that. It's about the fact that, look, people going to call you out your name. How you going to deal with it, especially when you got fame and you in the fame game? So listen to this. It's a few minutes. I get it. It's a little longer than our normal video. But that means there's more meat on that bone. Let's talk about it. Oh, man, I can't say that. <laughs> what camera I say, Paul? <laughs> I can't say that when we talk about somebody being gay. All right, let's hear the clip. Let's go. Stupid. You sister, you wanted to beat Mike Epps' ass. You remember that? You yeah, mad the motherfucker. I was like, damn, Sandy, what you gonna do to little Mike? You ain't had to be that damn man. You take gotta take a joke because see, you that's you was reaching that level of fame. See, you got your football fame, you're a Hall of Fame, yeah, right? Yeah. But, but 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 see, this fame is totally different, it's totally ain't it? Totally different. Because you you out there, but you wanted it though, I, I I didn't I didn't I didn't see this level of fame coming, LaBelle. And I thought the thing was... What the was, fuck you talking about? Nah, not like... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, man. What the fuck? Why you do it then? No, but here's the thing. Like you said, you look at my career in the NFL. Right. And I won Super Bowls. I'm in the Hall of Fame. Mm -hmm. But I'm 10 times right now. And I've been retired two decades what I was then. I didn't expect that. Well, nigga, you had a helmet on. Nobody know the fuck. What you think? What the fuck? Ain't nobody see your ass. They see your name. On the back of your jersey, you make a touchdown. Good job, nigga. Now go over there and do it another time. They, 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 this is different. It this, is. Your face out there, your muscles out yeah. there, your outfit out there. Niggas gonna make jokes about it. And in the, you in the worst time to be famous, though. Yeah. Cause nigga, Niggas do skits about the nigga did so many skits on your album. Man, they, 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 they need to cut me a check. Hey, hey, you should, but you but the thing about what it does for you, you know what it does for you. You 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 getting your shit is hot. Everybody won't be on that. Yeah. And you you have to find the you 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 had coaches cuss you out. You went up against some of the biggest linebackers. Right. This this this, this the same shit. It's just that you don't. It, it's it's different now. It's right. words. And then some little that punk part. joking about you. Nigga, look at my head. Nigga, these niggas kill my head. And I can't even. I gotta put a hat on to do a video on Instagram. <laughs> Cause these niggas, it would hurt my feelings. I was like, damn, my head fucked up. And my and I know my head fucked up. Cause my son got my same head. When I cut his hair off, that nigga wore a hat for two years till his hair grew back. I said, this nigga does not like his head. Right. But I I gra I gradually. I'm a man. You know. I ain't gonna. None of these clowns can reach the level that you you metamorphosize your career in so many different levels it ain't even the joke they joke about yeah nigga but look what i got bitch you walk around you so rich you got a little dog you carry with you nigga you that's that's white rich but see here's the thing it wasn't so much oh, the joke man. that he said it's who said it mm. like a lot of people say stuff i ignore them but see mike and see mike ain't shit <laughs> mike a regular nigga uh, mike, i knew mike when he had just got out of the penitentiary man mike mike turned his life around he the same nigga as you yeah he the same nigga and as we, you and we had that conversation when yeah. we were in it and i was glad we had the conversation but you know what Lavelle, I, I ain't look i ain't no luck to say it mm. i understand what i know understand your feelings yes mm. no i hey Man to man, head, you know, hot head to hot head. It, it, it goes without saying. I mean, you've been fighting all your life. Nigga, say something that you, hey, nigga, what you jumping on me? Right. All the money you got. But the thing about it, when Mike ever said it, more motherfuckers watched you. Mm, man. Lavelle, hey. He went there a couple times, man. Um, Shannon didn't like that shit. <laughs> I just, I need. Mean, uh, I, I didn't really get caught up in when when Mike Epps said he was gay because that's I'm from L.A. and I've seen it a million times. There's two plays that always hit you when you get famous. One, you gay or something like that. They're going to talk about your sexuality. Either you a hoe or all you do is mess with girls everywhere you go. He a holly. Girl, don't fuck with him. They're going to say that or he gay because if you ain't messing with every girl you meet, he gay. Look at him. Look, look. They, I've seen them a thousand. Will Smith on there. Everybody gay. Now, who's gay and who not? I don't know. And if you know and you ain't mess with them, you messy. And if you mess with them, why are you telling them they gay? You gay too. So what? That's one play. The other play is oh, then yeah. 
Oh, you you ain't down. You ain't with us. Uh, you ain't for the culture. Oh, you a sellout. They did it to Hammer. They did it to Ice Cube. <laughs> they did it to Will Smith. Damn, Will Smith. They, you really famous. They did it to Will Smith. And then next thing you know, they all try to do it the same thing that they do. You wanted a cereal. You wanted an action figure. You wanted a cartoon. You wanted to be an actor. You wanted to be a movie. Shut it. They just beat you to it. Now you hate. So, let me say all that. Let me say this to say all that. Criticism is the cost of praise. You're going to pay the price when you get praised. It's called criticism. Now, I learned this lesson like when I was seven, eight. You want to know why and how? I played football. Shannon played football way better than me. You play football, you learn this real fast. When I walk into the stadium, no matter where I am, everybody is, everybody's never cheering me fully. All y'all ain't cheering me, and all y'all ain't booing me. It's always a mix. Now, sometimes it's 95-5. Sometimes it's 50-50. But it's never a 100-0. Everywhere I've been, somebody's booed me, or I gave you this. And everywhere I've been, the same person doing this, go like this. Don't believe me? Let me give it to you the way y'all see it. Look at my comments. Oh, somebody, I'm, un, I'm unsubbing. Unsubbing. All right. I'm unsubbing. I hate this show. Uh, you talk too, lo- talk too much. You take too long. Uh, you suck. Uh, all you do is talk about the same thing. And literally the comment under it is, my favorite show. Wiley, been doing it for 30 years. I love you, boy. Keep, keep the itty bitties in check. <laughs> it's the same, same video. Read it. It really happens. Um, this is how I see it. Every time I go out, every time I go out, and I'm not that famous. I mean, for a football player, people recognize me, which is good, because I know a lot of football players that are actually better than me. And people don't even recognize their ass. They walk, what up, Wally? I'm like, uh, you just walk by a Hall of Famer. <laughs> That's a Hall of Famer. <laughs> well, Wally, can we get a picture? I'm like, damn. But then I hang with people way famous, more famous than me, right? Uh, 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 uh. Oh, you gonna get a picture, Wally, too? <laughs> right. It happens, right? So the point is, you ain't gonna ever go somewhere and get the whole whole arena, the whole stadium. So. The cost of that praise is going to be criticism. God told us this if you read the Bible. This world ain't absolute. He made it relative. Soon they ate that apple, they knew they had clothes or they were naked, right? Immediately it went from absolute, you don't know. You just are. You just be to like, I'm naked. (laughs) Give me some clothes, (laughs) right? They did that. That's the world. So stop trying to win over the whole crowd. You're never going to do it. So I go back to what Rick Rubin said. Make music you like, not that they like. Right? Do what you want to do, need to do, like to do. Express that. Second point that I love that he said was, Mike a regular dude like you. He caught Shannon on that one. And this is what happens to a lot of people. Thank God I'm from where I'm from, y'all. Because for real, I seen like these idols, these celebs and athletes and famous people make it when they were itty bitty. I remember growing up, a Regina King used to live right behind my building. And then, you know, growing up, oh, Regina King, and she, I think she was in 212. <laughs> yeah, yeah, 212. What was it called, 212? Uh, 227, 227. Oh, man. And everybody knew Regina King, right? And I'm so glad that like, I was a young kid just like, hi, you see her in the neighborhood or see her at school and just be like, hi, and that's it. It wasn't like a big deal to me, even though I knew it was a big deal. And it gave me a different perspective because she's made it. Look, Regina King's still a big time and more others, right? But here's the beautiful thing. I saw people who were on track projected to be even bigger than her. I just told this story yesterday. Y'all ever heard of a guy named Al Jones? Probably not. Let me tell you what he did to me. I went to a UCLA football camp in eighth, ninth grade or something, way out in Irvine. 
And I remember going there. Now, you know, I'm, this, yes, yes. I'm in the eighth grade going to the ninth grade. So I'm going to high school. So I'm going to this high school camp. Why? Because I'm that good. And it's like, yo, we need to see Wiley against the next level. That's where he's going. Everybody recruit me, all these high schools. So I went with a high school that I didn't even end up going to. And I went up there. And I remember doing these drills. And I'm just like, I had the confidence of 100%. Like, I had... Michael Jordan confidence, dog. I'm talking about like, I knew I was the man. This before my knees start hurting, Osgood Slaughter's, all that. I just knew it. I'm doing the drills. And I'm like feeling it. I'm not even looking around at what these cats doing. Killing it. And then I squinted. <laughs> then I looked and focused. And then he came towards me and did the drills with us. His name was Al Jones, y'all. Woo! Man child. Sucker there. I think it was like 6'2", 220, maybe 6'4", 220. Just yoked up. Didn't even, didn't, the, the shirt they gave us, the camp shirt, he already done cut that up. You know what? You know when they give you the official shirt and you cut it up, you a baller. <laughs> and I was looking like, what grade he in? <laughs> like, what high school he go to? Yo! And then, oh man, this dude was just a man. I was the first time that that hit me like, yo. And why did it hit me? Because you fast forward. Al Jones didn't go pro. Man child, but didn't go pro. And it made me say, oh, he a dude like me. Just what Lavelle said. Like, Mike ain't that like that. You looking at Mike like that? And then Shannon, you here? Well, whoever more famous, rich, I don't care about none of that. Just like, dog, I don't care about none of that. He a dude like you. Like, my coach like, yo, he on the field with you. He doing bag drills like you. He doing passing drills like you. Let's go. Who is this fool? So don't trip when someone in an arena clowns you and they supposed to be somebody. If you got a joke on me and Obama got a joke on me, the only reason I'm thinking like, damn, it hurt more because Obama said it, because I think he's smart. And I don't know if you're smart. <laughs> Just being real. You leave a comment, ah. I hear Obama say, oh, what? You know, Lil Wayne say something because I know Lil Wayne, that's the homie, and then he say something. What? Like, if he your friend, that's different. I don't know if Mike Epps and Shannon were friends, but the point is, he knew who Mike Epps was. And when that came, he was like, from the crowd? Mike Epps from the suite? From the owner's box? Ooh, that hurt different. But why does it? You already know anybody in this stadium is going to cheer me or boo me, but they all ain't going to do the same thing. So that's why you shouldn't have idols, false idols. Check yourself. It's okay to respect, look up. Look, every time I see Eric Dickerson, I give him the biggest hug. He gets tired of it. I was like, dog, you helped raise me. Every time I see John Elway, love. Oh, my God. You helped raise Those are my two favorite athletes growing up. Every time I see uh, a Carl Lewis, I haven't seen him in forever, but him. I mean, I really give it up. Ice Cube, as Ice Cube when I see him every time. He's like, damn, Wiley, all right. <laughs> Here's a little something about, I know, I know. You know the song, too. I wrote it. <laughs> but let him come at me. We, me and Cube actually go at each other. Talk that Laker talk, that Faker talk. I talk that Clipper talk. What'd he call us? I don't know. He's something this. Point being, let's level this out. It's okay. If they in the arena, they're going to cheer you or boo you. But just play your game. That's it. So 